Hey viewers, welcome to another BRM video. Uh, today I want to show you a good way to cut your cable housing without mashing it down. Now a lot of us I know about the expensive park tool to uh, cut the cables with, cable housing. And of course, when you use this, it still gets mashed down. So let's try and avoid that. First, I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers for spending your time watching my videos and uh, welcome all new viewers. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. We've got a lot of nice uh, restoration bicycles to look at and also a lot of how-to videos. So whenever I take an old bike apart, um, I always save the cables and I mainly save the brake cables because they're a little thicker and they work really well for this. When removing the cable from the old bike, save as much length as possible. So either cut it as close to the cable end as you can, or just remove the cable end and pull the whole length through and save the entire length. So what I do is I take the uh, brake cable, the old cable, and put it through the cable that I want to cut before I cut it. So go ahead and stick the old cable through so it sticks out the other end past where you want to cut it. Get your cable cutters. Angle them slightly. And there you go. Pushes right through. No need to pry them open with your nail or whatever. Works every time. And we'll show you on a little thicker cable. Here we have a real thick cable. And again, just stick the old brake cable through just past where you want to cut it. Put your cutters on there. And there it goes, coming right through. This way it doesn't mash it down, and you don't need to get the nail to poke the hole bigger. Remember to use brake cable, it's a little thicker. This is actually, this worked, this is actually shifting cable, but I didn't have any around right now, and it's, this still works, but it's better to use the brake cable. It makes the opening, it uh, keeps the opening a little bigger when you cut. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos, and uh, stay tuned for our next uh, rebuild. We're going to work on the uh, Miata. Thanks for watching.